Chase Elliott finally gets the win he deserves. We're going to talk about it today on Half Late Race Reviews. So starting off the race, lap one, you had the Rick Ware cars taking each other out. Um, I think you should have expected that. I mean, Rick Ware is a meme in itself, and the meme continues. So, yeah, that wasn't too much of a surprise. Um, <laughs> yeah. So a little later on lap 29, after the competition caution, Brad Kislowski was really slow up in the high line off a of turn four. He was under 100 miles an hour, just trying to slow down to get to pit road. And Kenseth wrecked, uh, trying to avoid that. And really a good job by everyone there to not hit him. I mean, it would have been very easy like to just kind of run into him, but I think everyone did a great job of trying to avoid that wreck. So nice job to everyone there. So after that caution, they brought everyone down pit road because there was lightning in the area. So they sit, they had to sit there for about an hour waiting for the lightning to pass by. Luckily it did, and they got back racing again soon, but it took a little while to get it going. So once the race restarted under yellow before the green, um, Logano had ran some pit strategy, which got him out to the lead, and he held that lead all the way to the end of stage one. So your stage one winner was Joey Logano. So really the only exciting thing that happened in stage two was really the highlight of the entire race, where um, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Kyle Busch, Eric Almirola, and Eric Jones had gone four wide down into turn three. Almirola and Kyle Busch made contact to cut down Kyle's tire, stacked up pretty much the whole field, and yet somehow they managed to keep going. It was an obnoxious save. There was just so much happening. There were five wide in some points during that trying to avoid him. Uh, Ryan Priest had gone down in the grass to try to avoid it. So great job by him. I mean, he lost positions, but good grief. That's some skill. Like, all four wheels, like, ten feet below the racetrack where it was supposed to be. And uh, Jeff Gordon had made a quippy comment about Keselowski and how the same thing had happened to him in 2014. Um, yeah, whatever. I <laughs> don't really really care about that that much it was like a while ago six years yeah anyways um Stenhouse is going to show up in this later he actually did really well in this race so after a cycle of pit stops Alex Bowman came out with a lead and he took that lead all the way to the end of stage two so Alex Bowman was your stage two winner so on the restart, Harvick had locked onto the bumper of Alex Bowman and took him all the way out in front of everyone else to the lead. And then Harvick kind of, like, went by him, went around him, got the lead. Uh, he led until about 20 laps to go, and Chase Elliott took the lead after Harvick had started falling backwards very quickly. And, um, yeah, Chase Elliott, um, obviously, like I said, he took the lead, um... And he led the rest of the way to the end of the race. So Chase Elliott was your winner. Um, he did not have any bad luck, finally. I swear, it, Elliott was going to win one of these at some point, And finally he did it. So, yeah, that was a pretty good race for me. I really, Obviously, I'm a Chase Elliott fan. So it's finally uh, nice to get this win. Nice to have this win for just, like, not wanting to punch myself after every race. Um... I really think Chase Elliott did a very good job today. He was kind of up there most of the day, and he kind of took the lead at the right time and didn't have any bad luck, which was really nice. So a couple of more things to talk about. Denny Hamlin finishing second with a great run up through the field at the last second. He literally passed Blaney on the last lap to get P2. Um, he was like, he came out of nowhere, just like, all of a sudden is like, oh, wait, Denny Hamlin just passed Stenhouse. Oh, look, he passed Blaney on the final lap. Uh, if this race was 15 laps longer, Hamlin might have won. Who knows? Um, fourth place, speaking of, Ricky Stenhouse. Um, good grief. The guy is a meme, but not today. That was a very good drive by Stenhouse. Um, seventh place, no, seventh place, one more second. Fourth place, very respectable finish. Uh, good job for him. He was, it, And it wasn't a fluke fourth place either. He was doing very well the entire day. Had a good car, top five car, and I think he deserved it. Uh, P9, Martin Truex Jr. This was kind of weird because he was just, like, terrible today. He was running, like, 20th most of the time, most of the race. Like, the, there wasn't... 
he wasn't he didn't really deserve a top ten, but he kind of snuck his way in in the last second. Um, yeah, so just a general overview of this race. I'll give it a seventy. Uh, I think it was a good race. Um, I mean, there were not a lot of cautions, which is good. Um, I think a lot of there wasn't really much sloppy driving, so I think everyone in general did pretty well. Um, and I didn't really get bored throughout this race. Like, obviously, I mean, when you're watching, like, a four-hour NASCAR race for, like, the Coke 600, it's easy to kind of lose interest in that. But, like, this was kind of like a bite size, you know, like, I mean, I personally felt entertained, like, the whole time. It was, I mean, there was a lot of action and a lot of clean racing because clearly everyone was kind of up to par on, like, the driving safe throughout this whole thing, which is really good. It's nice to have NASCAR races that aren't sloppy and also feel like a good race. That's a thing that I wish we could have more. But, yeah, anyways, I really like this race, um, especially, like, I don't know. I've, I've said I really like this race multiple times. I should probably just stop. Um, but, yeah, anyways, that was uh, half late race reviews of the Allsco 500. I realize I haven't said that once in this entire review up until now. Um, I don't know. Anyways, um, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you like this video. Uh, watch the video up in the top right corner. That should be a video that YouTube thinks that you would like to watch out of all my videos. Um, yeah, anyways, I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Bye.